All right, bro. We got to keep this gravy train rolling on the spatula with the Batman and spot. What? All right, so I'm going to move on. Last video, I think I did Captain Commando. So I'm going to just open up my characters here. Go through the folder, see what's under Captain Commando. Looking for more vanilla-based characters. Carlos, I think Charlie's a vanilla character. I think he's a vanilla character. I'm going to check his crouch animation and see if it's animated. If it's not animated, I'm I'm going to go ahead and animate it. Alright, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a vanilla character for NBC2. Let's see what this looks like first. Okay. Oh, wow, he has a blink. He's blinking too much. Yeah, he's blinking a little too much. He's got a blink, though. That's pretty cool. Zero eight for the blink. Uh, How can I finagle this? I'll do an onion skin. Let's back out. See if I can realign it. Okay, zero, zero. I gotta get rid of... I'm not getting rid of the blink. I'm just gonna spread that blink out so that he doesn't do it every time. So, zero, eight, and zero, zero. Open this up. Take this. And physics-wise, there's nothing I need to do to him. His idol's fine to me. There's nothing I could really tweak outside of maybe his pants. But, uh, let's focus up. Alright, so I just duplicated the main idol animation there. Made a duplicate. Make another duplicate, and there's gonna that's where the blink will be. Keep in mind the blink is zero zero, so all I have to do is I guess delete zero eight, delete zero eight again, and delete zero eight, and that should be it. I should have now the blink should be spread out. Let's play it much better. See, now he doesn't blink every time he rocks. It takes uh, a little bit of time for him to blink. You know, like human beings. Uh, Physics-wise, what would I tweak on this? I can't think of anything to improve this. I think the only thing I really could um, honestly do is maybe some physics on his pants. Really the bottom of his cargo pants. And maybe that jacket, too. Maybe I can animate this jacket. I might have to get artsy-fartsy with the jacket. And actually like draw it in yeah i think i think there's something here though all right uh, i'm gonna jump over i didn't even look at his crouch yet i'll look at his crouch in a second i'm gonna take the the zero zero frame duplicate that frame i'm gonna change the index to triple one and i'm just gonna i'm gonna get into it first thing we're gonna do get these cargoes bouncing get these cargoes popping copy paste shift up just one what i'm going to do here is i want it to sh to seem like it's stretching just for the first um or the initial shift i want to stretch there like a stretching squash type deal yo blow the eraser up i'm going to trim the top of the knee because i don't want his knee to shift up i just want the bottom of his uh the material on his pants to uh bounce be very careful to make sure I get the shadow. Alright, that's it. So, uh, wait, let me turn it off first. Make sure I shifted it. Yeah, I shifted it. There's artifacting too, which I have to be careful with. Artifacting is floating pixels that appear above or below whatever area or, you know, whatever item you're shifting or moving. Again, I wanted this to stretch, so I can be kind of, be kind of lax here with the uh, the deletion all right uh ig it and that's it for that i'm going to save it close it reopen it actually i take that back i'm going to close it make a duplicate for the duplicate name it triple two i'm going to go back to triple one open triple one and for triple one i'm going to do more shifting for this one, I'm going to move his pants up some more, first and foremost. It's going to be a secondary shift here. I actually want, yeah, I actually want the bottom of his, uh, really towards his ankles to be visible. So I'm just going to do some pruning here to make sure that I'm not shifting up anything I shouldn't be. Again, his knees don't don't shift up because his kneecap really is his bone. 
or the bone on his knee and uh bones aren't flexible like fabric so it shouldn't be bouncing with his pants go as low as i can go there i don't want his pouch to shift either his pouch is on um, technically his pouch could bounce but i don't want it to bounce here okay i'm gonna have to turn this off and take a quick look at it oh yeah that's beautiful see something i could tweak though just for art's sake i'm gonna go over to i'm gonna put it on one pin, pixel but i'm gonna go to the pencil here one pixel it i'm gonna get get a little artsy fartsy here take the shadow from his uh his, his leg here there you go and i'm gonna shift it over right here and i need to do something here too this bothers me a little bit thinking right here is where I'll start his ankle I'm on the top layer put that down on one pixel I'm gonna delete the back of the, the leg here should I go a little more nah nah that's, that's fine I'm gonna go to the bottom layer make sure it's gone on the bottom too there we go uh, I guess I could play around with the light in here just do this here just so I can have an outline or a semblance of an outline here. I think that's it, man. And then uh, I'll save that, close it, reopen it, and start some uh, some editing here up top. Now this is where it gets tricky. This is where I have to like do art. Fortunately, so first thing I'm gonna do is shift the coat up. I want the coat to like move, so I want the coat like that. I'm gonna take this color. This isn't. I, I love drawing, so I'm just going to be honest here. I love to draw, so it's not really a big whoop. This is actually where it gets fun for me. I didn't mean to do that. Take this orange, shift this orange up like so. Okay, so now we got a little bit of movement there. So for this side of the jacket, hmm. I think this should actually shift though, because it would save me um the headache of having to draw it out really. Plus, it's not necessary with me. If it's not necessary to draw it out, I won't draw it out. So I do a quick shift here, and I'm just gonna trim the bottom of his wrist, like so. You gotta be very careful here. It's got pixel perfect, man. Okay. Gotta make sure I get his fist and everything. This shifts all this shit shift up. Okay. Notice when I control Z, it start it did something weird there, but it's really a big issue. I'm, when I turn the layer off and turn it back on, it should show me what I need to see. Okay. This looks fine. So the jacket, all of the the jacket should shift up now. I'm going to go to the bottom layer, just delete what's under here, because it's not needed. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. I might have to get in here and uh, do some art to uh, properly shift this up. But I want to say it should look like this. And it's not a big deal. I can go back and uh, tweak it. Actually, let's backspace. I'll leave that be. I'll leave that where it is. And then uh, when I when I start playing around with the layers, I'll figure that out. Like that there. See the jacket shift up. I got to trim the bottom of the jacket so that the jacket properly moves there. And also, I can see what's going on now. So, I'm going to take this color. Plop this here like that. Uh -huh. This should shift upward, so I'm going to take this slightly darker pixel here, shift that pixel up. I'm going to take the, the pan tone, put the pan tone down on the bottom so you can see that it's all moving. This, I can't tell if this is supposed to stay that color. I'm going to take a slightly lighter gradient, plop it down right there on the belt, just to kind of try to differentiate the two colors that are being seen here. 
Huh. Let me go to the top layer here and see if that that's the culprit. No, it's not. Huh. We're just trying to get this. I'm trying to color pick this lighter shade, and it's giving me headache here. We're going to top layer, drop it here. There we go. Okay, oh, jeez. All right, so all of that should shift up now. I'm going to go back to the bottom layer. I'm going to trim the bottom of the coat. Mandatory. To have that proper shift that it needs. Here it's not going to be so easy because you gotta you have to draw it in. Or you have to, you know, you have to match it up. So I'm going to do this. And pretty sure that's gone too. I think that's it. I'm going to drop the layer. Okay. Plop it back, drop it, plop it, okay. It looks like the drawstring is popping in. It's not, I just deleted the bottom layer because, uh, well, I had to. But I do see something here I could tweak on the top layer. Again, I'm, I'm very, um, I'm an artist, so I have an artist's eye. So there's going to be a lot of things you just don't catch visually that I do catch. So if you don't understand what I'm doing, just, you know, just sit tight. And uh, maybe you'll get it when it's done. Alright, let's save that out. Close it out. Reopen it. Another thing I need to tweak here. Let's slide them down. Which, uh, this is something I should have been tweaking. But, uh, you know. Better late than never. And that's his hair. So what I'm going to do here. I want his hair to go out like this. I'm just going to blatantly draw it. It's not really... Not really a big deal. I don't think this. Well, it does have to be pixel perfect, <laughs> but I don't think it's a big deal if, if um, you know, if I don't shift it like I normally do. Normally, I just use the move. I work smart, not hard, so I usually just move whatever asset I need, shift it. Plus, it gives a a, a more clear gives more clear clarity to the movement of whatever I'm shifting to when I do it that manner but sometimes drawing there's just a better there's an appeal to when you hand draw certain things specifically in animation there's an appeal to it that you just can't get with um simply shifting stuff okay so that's one movement so I shifted his hair up, I shifted, oh, oh, I shifted his hair up, I shifted his coat, let's turn it off the select tool here, there we go. So his hair has been shifted up, I shifted up the bottom of his pants for the second time, and his coat has a slight amount of jump to it now, which is really cool. Save that out, close it out, that was triple one, so I'm going to duplicate triple one, boom. I'm going to jump over to triple two, I'm going to name triple two, triple three. I'm going to back out. I'm going to name triple one to triple two. I'm going to back out. And then there's my new triple one that I just made. That was a duplicate of um, what is now triple two. So I'm going to start tweaking triple one. Open her up. And just to, whenever I want to double check, all I have to do is just click the over arrow. If I see the index just change, kind of like how triple one just changed to triple two and vice versa, then I know I'm, I'm doing the, uh, I did my duplicate properly. So I'm going to edit this duplicate here. And the thing I'm going to focus on, to be honest, is the hair. Because that's a, that's a crazy looking tough to hair he has here. And there's no way this thing doesn't move. And these, these frames that I'm doing are, are what I affectionately call prep frames. My prep frames are the frames, or they're, they're basically physics dropping initially before the original idle animation occurs. Every character in the roster is going to, uh, to have that. I'm going to, uh, I'll get it done or I'll die trying. But um, yeah, that's my goal here. My end point should be better animation for every character. Starting with prep frames, the ability to blink, etc. Okay, so that's the tuft of hair going up even more. 
I'm just going to darken the the, uh, the tip here. Big paws. All right. Uh, what else do I need to shift here? His coat. I'll shift his coat. Probably his pants even more. I have to figure this one out. How to shift his pants up slightly. I'm going to copy, paste. Just do a quick shift here. I'm going to try to avoid his kneecaps for the fabric movement because again your kneecap is bone it's not fabric you can't technically shift that and it makes sense hey bro you remember when I was talking to you about school how love uh, I was in math and I was like oh man like <laughs> people who are good at math typically are like artistically void like they just suck at art like they can't draw they're terrible dancers there's like nothing artistic or creative about a person who tends to be good at math, which is like, it's not an insult. It's just how the human brain works. You can't have it all. Um, I was sitting next to some dude and he took offense to a fam and he was like, oh, no, nah, man, like, oh, uh, I can dance. And I was like, you can dance. He was like, yeah. And he proceeded to do like some weird fingers. It was like. I don't know what it was, dude. He was just doing some weird stuff with his fingers. And he was like, this is dancing. I was like, dude, do you know what a dance is? <laughs> it was pretty funny, though. He uh he clearly was like one of those people who don't have rhythm. I could tell when someone has rhythm. Well, I'm black. So, you know, unfortunate. Well, fortunately, it's in my genetics to be able to dance. Even if I don't want to dance, I'm a very good dancer. So I could tell. I could usually look at someone. It's hard to explain. But people who dance out there, you know what I'm saying? You can look at someone and tell if they have no rhythm just by the way they hold their body. It's um the term I use for it is a stiff neck. Like usually if a person holds uh posture wise, if they hold their body in a manner so that their neck is like perfectly erect and stiff and they do that at all times, that usually means they're they're terrible. They like have no rhythm and but they're probably exceptional at math. And um I, I just thought it was funny. And there was this, uh, there was a girl next to me too, who was, she was not good at math. She, like, she, we just did an exam. And on her, her exam, she got a 69. I think she got a 69 on the exam. But she was like, I love math and I'm good at art. And I was like, okay, I don't, I don't like where this is going, but I'm, I, I have a lot of tact when I speak to people. I don't like to offend people when I speak to them, especially in person. Just because as a person, like, you, you know, tact is, is, Tact is the same as respect. You're treating people the way you like to be treated. And I know me and my temperament. I'm the type of dude, like, if another man speaks to me and he speaks to me in a disrespectful manner, I'll break his jaw. And then I'll talk to him and I'll tell him why I broke his jaw. But you, you're getting that jaw broken. So because I know that's how my personality is, I try to treat people with the utmost respect, too, when I speak to him. But long story short, when I was speaking to that chick, she was like, no, 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 I love math. And I'm good at art, but her last test score was an F. So, like, it just, you know, it was it was pretty moronic. Just having to, to sit there and listen to someone, like, lie to my face, essentially. But, um, I don't know, I just think it was funny. Looking back at it, it's kind of, it's hilarious to, like, think about. But, uh, when it was happening, it was kind of, it was, it was angering me a little bit. It's like the nerve. <laughs> so, I had to sit there and listen to her. Just ramble on. No, no, man. I love math. Math is awesome. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm good at art. She started showing me like some artwork that she made on her uh, her little tablet or whatever. This is college, by the way. But she was showing me some artwork she made on the tablet. It wasn't incredible artwork, but it was good enough to know, yeah, she she definitely had an art brain. And she didn't have like, a, you know, one of those weird math brains. She wasn't like a, a soulless, rhythmless person. And, um... Again, people take offense to that, but it's the truth, man. Ten times out of ten, if you are good, and this is probably going to jar a lot of you guys listening to, but ten times out of ten, if you are good at math, you can't dance. And if you are good at math and you happen to know how to dance, there is a high chance you are it, artistically, you are you, you have no skill artistically. And it's, it's not a bad thing. It's just um, it's the human brain, man. You have to use one side of your brain to function, you know? And some people tend to uh, lean towards a certain way. Oh, that looks really good. 333-222. Three, 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 two, two, two. But uh, uh, 
you know, I just thought it was funny. I was cracking up, man. I think it's like, it was kind of adorable, but it was also angering, you know, to have somebody sit in your face and, and tell you, basically lie to you. Kind of, it, it, it was kind of anger inducing too, but I got it. Plus, it's offensive. Nobody, again, nobody wants to be known as like soulless or like rhythmless, which is why, um, you know, I advise most people, man, like delve into the arts, you know, try to immerse yourself in the artistic stuff because um, that's what life's about, controlling your body. You can't find happiness if you're like bland, you know, that's that's pretty much a no brainer. And I know people who can't draw. I know a lot of people who can't draw who and, and can't dance, have just, just no freaking rhythm to be found in their movements. But then they could play the guitar. Guitar is a that's art. That's that's kind of like, you know, that's music. That's it's kinda of similar. Kinda of similar. It's a it's a form of rhythm. It's it's creative, you know. I still kinda of look at uh certain things like playing the piano or uh, playing the flute. And things like that. I, I kind of look at those as more kind of mathematical. Those are kind of more logical. Because you, you have to memorize a bunch of crap. And then just do it in a sequence. So like really you, you're really exercising the math part of your brain. But um. You know. Soul is soul you know. And I think people. People with soul. Let's play it. Wait wait wait. I, gotta, I have to add in my new frames. Sorry I digress. I, I go on tangents like this too. I like to talk. One one one, and it's it's based on zero zero. Remember, these are the prep frames that I'm about to plug in here. So what I'm gonna do is drop down like this. I'm gonna create an invisible text. Invisible just means unreadable. I'm gonna name it idle, and then I'm gonna jump back up. And up top, I'm gonna make another invisible text. I'm gonna call this prep, and these are gonna be my drops or my physics drops. And one, two, three. How many did I make? Four. So it'll be one, two, three, four, and then it'll go back. So it'll be three, two, and then one's gonna be up top. I'm not sure if I want to use zero. I don't think I want to use zero. Zero would probably be the last frame or the, the beginning of the idle. So what I'll do here is I'll do triple one, which is all the way up. Triple two, which is more physics drop. Trigger um, three. I think there's four. I can't remember if there's three or four. I'll, I'll double check in a second here. Okay, and that'll be my physics drop. I'll just delete four if I don't need it. And uh, the speed of the physics drop, I want it to, I want it to drop start slowly, and then I want it to drop even faster, like this. So I'll put it in the twos. Apply, close. Okay. Make sure there's a four here. There's no four. I knew it. Well, I didn't know it. All right, so delete the four. This doubles up to three, though. So delete three and four. Boom. One, two, three, two. And then it goes back. No, no, no. No, it doesn't. I need to plug a one in here. Otherwise, it'll look kind of, it'll look janky. Two. All right, get rid of all these gaps. Okay, and then the idle starts. Save it out, apply, close. I'm gonna scroll it back like this. See my physics drop. Boom. Look like it went back up. What was that? Down, down. So three, three, three is all the way down. And it goes back up. Huh. Okay. So that means I don't need this. I only need all the way to three. And then when it gets to three, I could just tap out. So apply, close. Go back. Remember, these are the prep frames. This is when all of the physics-induced things drop. So this should be the bottom of his jacket, the bottom of his uh, cargo pants, and that tuft of hair that he has. Boom. Amazing. That looks so good, man. Boom. That's going to look so good in the game. All right. Uh, Let me see. I want to see that blink, too. That new blink I spread out. Oh, even the blink looks good. I see the hair jump too. His hair shouldn't be jumping like that for the blink. Let me let me jump through here. See what's going on there. Maybe it's a naming convention. Zero eight. What's with the jump though? Loop start. I have to loop start it. Oh, blind moment. All right. So the prep frame. This is when the physics drop. Once the physics are done dropping, it has to do what's called loop start. 
which just replays the idle animation over and over instead of replaying this uh this physics drop again so apply close let's jump back let's play it shouldn't have that uh bang jump anymore yeah that's it see the blink beautiful flawless all i wanted was my physics man it, he looks fine to me boom amazing and if i wanted to let's see here all the way down so what is this three three triple three and then zero so triple three zero i wonder i wonder i'm gonna i'm gonna use the tick box here i'm gonna put the start loop frame right here just to see what this looks like i shifted the loop frame back just to add it's gonna add a slight physic to the bottom of the cargo pants so let's play it out hmm I like it but I think that triple three I like the pan drop but I think triple three needs to be added in more yeah I think triple three needs to be added in some more and specifically after zero zero so add a triple three after zero zero so I'm gonna take this triple three I know it's on a loop start but I'm going to put it after zero also. Pretty sure zero is where, it, or before, it goes before zero. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to plug it before all the zeros here. I mean all the zeros too. And that should give me a physic. Apply, close, so now I should have a physic on the, um, you know, on his pants. Every time he bounces. See it? It's very slight barely noticeable too i love it looks amazing so there we go tweaked animations man he's got more physics induced onto the bottom of his cargo pants he's got a new blinking animation that's spread out properly and also he has his physics drop for the uh the initial or the prep frames which only occurs one time which is after a movement which is that incredible amazing so that was uh charlie this was vanilla based uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Charlie these are some animation tweaks that I've made um, I, I'll make a part 2 and in a part 2 I'm going to cover the crouch for the uh, for the character that's pretty much it God bless